I'm positive that almost everyone in the world knows who Kylie Jenner is, because how could you not? She's one of the biggest celebrities out there, and I would even call her the ultimate influencer. Not to mention, she only just recently turned 22. Her amount of fame and fortune is enough to blow your mind, and she's 144 million followers on IG at the time of this recording. Kylie has a handful of titles, including media personality or reality TV star, model, entrepreneur, and socialite. She's well known for starring on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, obviously, as well as owning her own company, Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie is also a mom these days and had her daughter Stormy with her man Travis Scott, but that's all old news. Let's not forget that she was titled the world's youngest billionaire earlier this year. Forbes magazine said that Kylie's net worth was estimated at 1 billion US dollars. They called Kylie the world's youngest self-made billionaire, but obviously that received controversy because, duh. Look who her family is and where she came from. Anyways, imagine all the things you could do with that kind of dough. Considering Kylie is a billionaire, she can definitely afford any house she wants. So, of course, Kylie has an impressive mansion that's not only spacious and fancy, it's also all personalized to her liking and to reflect her style. Kylie opened up her home for a photo shoot and gave a tour of it earlier this year, and I've also seen footage of her spot thanks to her IG, like when Travis covers the place in roses. So if you've ever been curious where Kylie calls home, today I'm going to show you. We'll see if her mansion really is a total image of her. Kylie purchased her spot back in 2016 and it's located in the LA suburb, Hidden Hills. In fact, according to Trulia.com, the youngest of the family has three homes in the Hidden Hills, since she bought one for 6 mil there beforehand and its neighbor for 4.5 mil. Her mother, Chris, and her siblings also have houses there. The mansion that Kylie calls home was purchased for 12 million and features 8 beds and 11 baths. The house is 13,200 square feet and sits on 1.4 acres of land, obviously looking over Los Angeles. When Kylie bought the home years back, it looked stunning and was brand new. It already had a theater, a gourmet kitchen, a pool and spa, even a massage room. But Kylie didn't want to settle. She wanted to make this place her own, and I mean, if you're that rich, you can do whatever the hell you want. So Kylie got the designer Martin Lawrence Bullard to help her create her dream home. He's apparently a big deal when it comes to design. Kylie said, I told Martin I wanted a fresh, fun vibe to match the way I was feeling. Color was essential. I love pink and wanted a lot of it. And a lot of pink is exactly what she got. But you'll see. And remember how young Kylie still is. Even though she's a mom, I doubt she wants a boring house. Definitely makes sense that she wanted her place to be exciting. I, for one, am into the pink theme. By the home's entryway, there are Andy Warhol, Prince of Marilyn Monroe, lining the wall up the staircase. Kylie has said that she loves Marilyn and feels a deep connection to the icon, so this artwork was chosen for that reason. Looking at the living room, the color scheme looks really fresh. I love the white couches and the white grand piano. The living room is meant to give both an old and new Hollywood vibe. And Kylie's golden sparkly cocktail table in this room is totally a statement piece. I'm obsessed with Kylie's dining room, definitely one of my fave parts of the home. This room gives off equal girly and retro vibes. The table and chairs are custom by Kylie's designer, Martin, and just like Kylie requested, the chairs are pink. Well, almost all of them. I could imagine that this room would make the perfect photo op for a dinner party, especially if it's a girl's night. Kylie's kitchen is fancy as well, and I also heard that the star likes to bake. So this giant kitchen clearly gives her more than enough room. There's also a really interesting chandelier in here that looks cool, but kind of scary too. Apparently, if you want to buy the chandelier, you can, but it's going to cost you over 13 grand. Kylie's master bedroom is massive, no doubt, and there's even a couch and seating area with a custom daybed. When you go into the master bath, you can tell it's Kylie's. Pink is a theme here, and one of the things I notice is how great the natural lighting looks in here. Pretty sure you could take some great selfies. And in case you wanted to know, all of those pink towels are Louis Vuitton. If you're staying in one of the guest bedrooms, you probably won't complain considering how nice it is. You just have to stare at pictures of her mom, Kris Jenner, while you're in bed. This room has a monochrome vibe and features vintage pics of Kris on the wall. I think that I like the family room better than the living room, just because it looks a bit cozier. Like, I would rather hang out in this room in my PJs than the other one. What I like about it most has got to be that hammock thing and what looks like the furriest blanket in the world, not to mention the fireplace. Her mom also agrees with me. 
Even the second floor landing in Kylie's house is a hangout space in itself. There's enough space for a giant sectional and then some. The hot pink and blue tables here are gorgeous. Kylie also has a games room with a bar at her place. The star says that she loves having people over, so keeping this in mind, her designer said, The look is glamorous but totally inviting. There's nothing so precious that you can't stand, jump, or dance on it. The bar is super cool and looks like a great spot to hang out. I found the condom art on the wall an interesting choice though, not gonna lie. The game room is supposed to be slightly more wild and Kylie wanted it to be an adult play zone. Aside from the bar, there's also a pool table and pinball machines. And if you look closer beside the candy bowls, she has her sister's books on the table. Not surprising. So in my opinion, I've saved the best for last, which would be Kylie's glam room and her closet. I think her glam room is what makes the mansion the most Kylie-esque. The glam room is the place where Kylie does her makeup and hair or gets her team to do it for her. There's a ton of pink feature here. After all, it is a Barbie themed room. There are pink seats, pink tables, and a neon pink sign that says plastic. There are also some framed photos of Barbie herself. Kylie has also said about these rooms, my closet and glam room are very personal to me, even down to the size of each drawer, so they fit my specific products and clothes. I spend a lot of time in those rooms, so we had to make sure they were perfect. Kylie's closet or dressing room is fit for a princess and it's the perfect spot to show off all her designer gear. There's also a walk-in area specifically for Kylie's handbags. Looking at it makes me so jealous. Actually, her handbag closet reminds me a lot of Jeffree Star's. So I wonder who has the better collection. We also know that Kylie has a pool because first of all, almost all celebrity mansions in Hollywood do and because we've seen it. And plus, what else are you gonna do with 1.4 acres of land? So although Kylie has always lived in luxury, her main house is definitely a step above the rest. And comparing it to her previous spots, she really outdid herself. I think that Kylie's house has got to be one of my faves considering how personalized it is. Even though it's really fancy, there's still an inviting and comfortable vibe to it which I think a lot of mansions don't have. I might be a little biased because her place has so much of my favorite color pink, but I think Kylie did a great job bringing her dream house to life and getting the interior designed just the way she wanted. The girl has great taste. After seeing Kylie's house and Jeffree Star's, I don't know which one is more pink. Well, it's probably Jeffree's, but it's a close call. I think Kylie does the whole pink theme while keeping things tasteful, but let me know what you guys think. Kylie is only 22, so I wonder how long she'll call this place home. But considering how much effort and time was put into it, I think it would be hard to create something better. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be reading out some of your comments. This was from our recent vid on Ariana Grande's house tour. Jesse Paul said, who cares? Ariana, satanic puppet and Illuminati. Interesting point, Jesse. Maybe this should be one of my next videos, researching Ariana and the Illuminati. I haven't heard about them in a long time, to be honest. Also from our Ariana house tour vid, Chris McCullough said, yeah, I agree. Cali would probably be better compared to NYC. Thanks for agreeing with me, Chris. I honestly wish I could see more of Ariana's mansion in the hills. Definitely leaves me curious. All right, guys, that's all I could find on Kylie's home. I look forward to reading what you guys think about her spot or if there's anything I might have missed. What was your favorite part of Kylie's girly mansion? Leave some more comments so I can respond to you guys and let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. I'll see you next week with some brand new videos. Bye.